Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Call of Duty Mobile. And today we're going to be taking on Mission 4 from inside of the Anniversary Club. And obviously with this one, obviously we've done the previous missions where we had to go to Isolated to obviously try and get some intel and stuff from launch and everything. We realised that the rocket wasn't there, the missile wasn't there no more. And obviously we've been doing loads of other challenges and stuff since, but for this one... We've got to go to try and do mission four now. So we're gonna see what it is all about. Soldier. Something big is about to happen. Obviously, Mace is planning to deploy the Nova Six. Because of the MP attack, we have a few ways to stop him. We need you to go to the warden's house in Alcatraz and find more information on no Nova Six. Let's move. I agree with you, bro. No time to waste. So we need to go to the warden's house, okay? Just wanna interact with these other characters in case I need to. It's obviously got Captain Price and everything around here. Alright, bro. Try to keep you guys away. That we brought back was worth it. Get the MP satellites. So, Ghost is hacking. That's right. With this, we can control the EMP satellite. Now, we're one step closer to a counter attack. Alright. No worries. Let's go to uh, Soap, Soap Matavish. Greeting soldier. It seems that you have also been overwhelmed by this EMP attack. After the EMP attack, I started tra uh, tracking Macy's location. Luckily, I picked up their transfer traces. Adler's have been using this information to figure out their locations. It seems that the day to the counter, the counter attack is near. The Five Nights have been seen frequently. Alcatraz some clues may be still there. Uh, I'm going there to investigate. Yeah. Maybe find something. Good luck. Alright, so we've got to go in. Go to Alcatraz. Hey, rookie. Glad you could make it. What with the raining satellites and all. Alright. Should we go to Ghost? I'm trying to think. Should we go to Ghost? Is it worth it? How's the hacking going, bro? Stay frosty. Okay. Um, so you got nothing for me at all then. Remember switching to your pistols fast then we'll load. Yeah, I already know that. You told me that back in COD Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4. I swear you did. Right. Um, we need to complete one match after landing in the Warden's house in Alcatraz and then report back to Adler. And obviously I had to speak to these guys as well to give you some tokens for it so we can use them. Yeah. Daily supplies, talk to Ted. Okay, so we don't need to talk to any of these now. We're all done with that. So we just need to go to the Warden's house, okay? Got land in the Warden's house and then just play one game in Alcatraz. And then come back and report to Adler, so. Let's get this done then, boys. Let's get it done. Let's go to Battle Royale. Let's not waste any time, okay? Right. Let's get this done. Right, so as you can see, I'm playing this uh, really cool fire break skin. We're practically a zombie, okay? We're a zombie right now. Let's just try and show these guys what we're made of. I'm putting obviously on two squads as well. I want to team up some random people. Um, to see if these guys are any good or not. Because the thing is, if we're playing with good team members, then I see as we can get the game wrapped up even quickly. So then we don't have to take too much of your, of your, your guys' time. You know what I mean? That didn't sound like it. No sense then whatsoever, did it? Your, your. <laughs> don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay, let's, let's just roll with that instead. But yeah, Ositas, I'm gonna like stick up like a sore thumb. I'm gonna like the most terrifying person probably in this lobby. Because everyone's got like cool skins, but I'm like a zombie in here. Well, kind of like an astronaut suit. Looks pretty cool though, really deadly. But it is what it is, boys, it is what it is. 
And obviously as well, the reason why I like doing this sort of thing as well and making it into videos as well is the fact that it gives me more reasons to play Battle Royale. And I did say to a little while ago to all of you out there, if you remember we've seen in some old videos, that um, I'm going to play a bit more Battle Royale moving forward in the future, not just multiplayer. I will have more cool things like best class setup videos and stuff coming in the future, so make sure you look out for them. I'm just currently in my free time grinding towards more weapons and stuff, and once I've got some solid loadouts, you know I'm going to be making loads of videos for you all, okay? But for now, let's dive into the action, and let's try and get that win, okay? Dropping down, boys. We're dropping down. My favourite place I like to land in Alcatraz Island is on the Cell House roof, but obviously we can't do that. We've got to go to the Warden's house in order to complete our challenge. So we've practically landed on the war on the Warden's house right now. So I need to get indoors quickly and get myself a weapon ASAP. I've got a transform shield there, which is good. And you definitely need the backpack as well. Some body armor there, even though it's level 1, it's okay. It's better than nothing. More health. Some ammo. We don't need the ammo right now, we need a gun. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Nicely done. Yeah, nice. Try get some Man, this AK-117 absolutely shreds, boys. <laughs> Two kills straight off the bat right now. I ain't complaining. Right. Man, my guy can move without even moving his feet then. Did you see that? He was just sliding across the floor. Uh, right. We're good so far. We're good. We're good. Let's make sure we got a lot of ammo as well. You have to always keep your guard up when you're on this map. And I really do love playing on Alcatraz Island. I think it's really, really, really cool for COD Mobile. I'm happy that we got this sort of thing. I'm hoping in the future as well we get things like the Dask and stuff, because that would just be mad. You know what I mean? Call. The fly drop incoming. I can see it happening one day, though. I definitely can see it happening. Even if it's just as a limited time, like, sort of mode. Just with how popular the Dask is. Can you imagine if they brought it to God Mobile? <laughs> that would be insane. Alright, let's make sure I'm all geared up now and we can try and uh, get some more kills. Ooh, got an enemy around here. This guy's trying to hide from me. Ooh. That was nasty then, he nearly had me. It's alright though, I need to be careful, there's an enemy near me. See him, I see him. Nicely done. Dropped him. Get out of here. Ooh, got a crate over there as well. Supply crate. Can we get anything decent from it? Ooh, okay, we can have a war machine or something. Alright, customized weapon. Let's go with the uh, DRH. Bit of a risky thing to do then, especially when there's an enemy near me. But still, the DRH is a really good gun. Especially when you can bring in your own custom loadouts into this. I think it's a really cool thing because my DRH loadout is really, really deadly. Right, let's heal back up. That's alright. Damn it, I'm being shot at. I need to be careful. Could really do with some better body armor, to be honest. Preferably a level 3 if there's one lurking around somewhere. Enemy, enemy. Damn it, I got really bad potato aim. Nice done. Six kills so far. I'm not really trying to focus really that much on kills for these challenges. I just really try and push towards the win. Well, I mean, that's the main focus I'm trying to go for. Easy, easy, 
use it. Damn it. There we go. Need to heal back up again. Spending most of this time just healing up all the time, boys. Seven kills so far. Nicely done. Seems like my team know what they're doing as well, which is good. Just don't get me wrong. When I've been playing this in my free time, I've been in some lobbies where I've, I practically felt like I've had to babysit people. Which, obviously, each of their own. Some people are good at this sort of thing. Some people play this all the time. Some people don't. And obviously, if they're new players, then fair enough to them. But if it says that people just don't want to play properly and they're just joining the lobbies for the sake of it, and then people like me have to carry them, it comes quite frustrating. Okay, I think there's an enemy up there. I think there is, but... I'm just thinking I'm going to do this. We'll look around. Really bad to take away. Get to the war machine. <laughs> war machine. I love this thing. I'll have to light one day in the future if you like. If the um, if you would like to see this, let me know. You can play Battle Royale. I'll try to get a team of buddies together and we'll play as the Ether team, like as the Ether squad. You know what I mean? So we could one will roll with Rick off and roll, 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 roll with Dempsey. <laughs> one roll is Nikolai and one roll was in Takio. Well Takio. If it's something you would like to see in the future, then let me know. Maybe we can get around to doing that as a video. See well I won't tell you what it would have been really good it, when they introduced this map. And I think it was a bit of a wasted opportunity, but I feel like in the future maybe they could implement them is the Mob of the Dead squad. You know what I mean? If you remember playing Mob of the Dead back in Black Ops 2, where you had Sally DeLuca and everyone, and Weasel, and Albert Ar Harlington and stuff, if they brought them in during the time of this, as like, event characters to earn, man, that would have been insane. You know what I mean? Run around Alcatraz Island as the Mob of the Dead crew. Just saying. That would have been absolutely awesome. But obviously, they can always do that in the future, and I do think eventually them characters will, will make their way over to this game. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a matter of when. And there's so many cool outfits and designs and characters and stuff they can bring over. And, you know what I mean? I think, you know what I mean? The developers have got it cushy. They know what to implement. They know when to add it. But if there's one character I want to see in the future be brought to this game, is Frank Woods. I've got him in Warzone. He can be in the Black Ops Cold War. I want, I want Frank Woods in Club Mobile. Okay? That's what I do want. So if anyone from the development team for Call of Duty Mobile, please, in the future, bring your boy Frank Woods to the game. And if you want, bring two versions of him. The old man Frank Woods and the young Frank Woods that we know, okay? The badass Frank Woods. We need to do it. Please. We need to do it. But obviously, we've got the win now. And so all we need to do is we need to go back to Adler. And report to Adler to find out where our next assignment is. I got 10 kills. My other team have got 10. The one got 7. The other one got 6. Nice. Can't complain with that. It's 33 kills in total. Nicely done. Some weird lag there as well. Absolute weird lag. Right. Okay, so I'm nearly complete to another one of my challenges. Right. Um, events. M Club. Ooh, okay, right. Let's head over to the club. I was going to redeem my uh, tokens first, but I was thinking, nah, just do that another time. Let's go speak to Adler. You okay, bro? Welcome back, soldier. Unfortunately, we didn't find any traces of Nova 6 in the Warden's house. Don't give up, though. Sofa is also working to find the Mace's location. Why not exchange info with him during the break? Okay, so I'm getting that as a hint that you got to go speak to Soap, but... I'll probably just speak to all of them anyway. It's a lot easier. Right, plan is pretty simple. Get stronger than than before. Okay.
All warfare is based on deception. Okay. Cheers for the words of wisdom there, Bryce. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Why can I never get that saying out of my head? I always think of him from COD 4 on Modern Warfare 2 of him saying that. Let's do it. Okay. Right, so what do we need to do now then? I'm confused. What do I need to do? Oh, talk to Adler. Then kill 20 enemies in Alcatraz. And then report to Adler again. For our next challenge. Okay, so we've completed these. So let's redeem our token points with this. The thing goes what I like about this as well. It's like he's telling a story. And I really, really dig this. I think it's really good. Alright, so we need to talk to Adler. 20 enemies kills in Alcatraz. And we've done the rest of it that we needed to do. Yeah, it's all good, boys. It's all good. So that's all we need to do. Talk to Adler, kill 20 enemies in Alcatraz, report back to Adler. That's fair enough by me. That's that's fair enough. I dig that. Okay, I dig that. But, like I said, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. If you want to see more videos like this moving forward into the future. If you're enjoying the little mini story within the Battle Royale right now. With over about the mace and everything with the Nova 6 and everything. And about them going to Alcatraz and stuff. And about the EMP satellite and everything. It's just... I think the story is amazing. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of this sort of thing. And I'm hoping that they keep doing this thing moving forward into the future for Call of Duty. Like, even if it's just with different characters and stuff. And put some really cool rewards up for like that you can get your hands on for doing it. I think that will be amazing. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And also, make sure you hit the bell icon because it will notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future. If you want to see even more great content from me that isn't Call of Duty, Realm Royale or Fortnite related, then make sure you go over to my second channel. A link to that will be down below in the description. You click on that link, it'll take you over to my second channel, More Aaron Cooper, where I play fan-made games, full game Let's Plays of various different games such as Resident Evil and everything like that. If you're interested in that sort of thing, head over to my second channel, subscribe right now. And hit the bell icon, because then you'll never miss a future upload. Anyways, thanks for watching, stay awesome, stay safe, and I'll see you again in my next video. Take care.